Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization VI, Aztec King, next turn. We are continuing where we left off last time. Oh, Rome is... We, we offered Rome friendship like one or two turns ago, and now they want to be our friend. We would be happy to let the world know that we stand united. Our wonderful neighbors, Rome. Oh, they lowered their offer. Well, they offered us more gold outright and less gold per turn. Again, I think I will take your city. Nope. They, we, I said that if they offered 30 per turn, I might take it, but they just lowered their offer. It might be more gold overall, I'm not sure, but I don't want to do the math, quite frankly. Oh, it looks like America is attacking them, too. Although it looks like America is not as technolog technologically advanced as us, at least in terms of military technology. Or they just haven't uh, advanced their early units. America. Well, we're friends with Rome, which is very nice, especially since they are right next to us. We don't really want to be at war with them, at least not right now. Um, yeah, let's push through here. Oh, this is America here. Where the heck is China's all the way down here? Wow. We're going to help. We're going to use America's force to take uh, the damage, and then we're going to try to march into China. We're going to try to plant that way. Okay, we're going to try to buy this tile at this point, because we now have a discount on tiles. And we really want to put a lumber mill here. And that should give us plus four production here. No, it doesn't. Why not? I don't know. This one gave plus four. Is it because it was next to a mountain? I don't know. But you know what? I'm fine with, I'm fine with that. Um, that should help with the production there. You, okay, we have a, um, what do we want to do here? We just built a trader. Do we want to do an amphitheater? Hmm. Or do we want to do, a, let's do a builder first, and then we can work on the amphitheater while we, while the builder also works on another district, probably an industrial zone. Okay, choose production. Chapultepec. Do you want a granary? Hmm. You haven't expanded anything yet here. I think I think I think we might want the granary for the, just for the housing. Um, right, trade route from Sochi Calco. Now we could take this opportunity to get some uh, quests finished. We have quests for Kabul. Ooh, Kabul actually gives us some production, which is nice. Hmm. And a road to Kabul might be nice. Expect You know what? Let's move them to uh, Chapultepec and have Chapultepec go down to Kabul. Great. Okay. Um, oh, great. Um, they didn't take this outpost yet. Can we just take it? No. So let's... Can we move and then... You know what? I think we're just going to fire. And now you should be able to take this. Oh, wow. They just wiped them out, didn't they? Those crossbowmen are powerful. Wonderful. And that should make Scythia like us a little more, too. You guys can move here. You might be attacked, but I think you should survive. Especially since Kabul is on both sides also. Um, and at Kapotzalco, we still need housing. But there's not much we can do about that. Unless we got rid of... Well, actually, we could build an aqueduct here once we built, got a tile there, couldn't we? Yes, we could. So maybe after we build... So once we build this builder, because uh, the other builder is going to put a lumber mill here, maybe we buy a tile here and put... Uh, we also want to build a tile... We, we, we want to get a couple of aqueducts coming from this lake, and I think we can do it. So definitely before we get the next civic, because I would love to buy those tiles. We could buy them now, I guess, but we'll wait a little bit. Okay, you get that amenity. Uh, next turn. Next turn. Our friends roam. Oh, you want open borders. I know why you want open borders, and I don't like it. I like that you're giving us money, and it's a decent amount for one amenity, especially one we just picked up, I think. But I don't want I don't want the open borders. 
You would accept that. You know what? For 120, 133 gold for one amenity. No, I want more. Yeah, it's too bad. Offer me a little more and I'll give it to you. Uh-oh. Uh, I probably should have bought this tile. We just got locked out. Oh, great. Um, how did we do this? Oh, because we built another campus. This Wonderful. Is the I love it. Oh, so... Well, we don't want to get rid of this yet. We do what we can't get rid of this one though, the first envoy to each city state. Get rid of that, move that there. And now let's do gold from all trade routes, huh? And we just got natural philosophy. Wow, which is nice, isn't it? That would be really nice for a science. We might change that once we get rid of land surveyors. Um, but I would I would like to have the scientists points. I would love to have a great scientist. Yes. Okay. All right, Malinalco. Right. We were going to have your trade route go to really. Oh, well, we're not. Uh, that's not what we're doing right now. This is production. You just built a workshop. Very happy to see that. Um, now, you are on a river, so you don't really need an aqueduct. But it would be nice, at, uh, you know what, maybe a watermill at this point for the extra, a little bit of extra production and food. Although we could also b work on that while we work on another district. So let's build a builder. Uh, Extapaluka. I think you need a library and a shipyard. You need both. Although I think we want so we need a library before we get a university and we want the university for astronomy so as awesome as a ship you know what a shipyard would give us extra production can we buy a shipyard um 900 gold that's a lot I want to do the. I kind of want to do the shipyard first because it would give us extra production to put toward our um, the other stuff. We could build a library and then start working on the university. I do want the university. I think we'll be okay. I, I would like. I would rather work on the shipyard. Okay, let's end an envoy. We get two envoys. Very nice. And I think now. Ooh, Nan Modal. What is that? We could become the suzerain here. Um, we would get districts on or next to coast tiles provide plus two culture. Well, we have one harbor there that, that's on a... We're building a harbor here. That's cool. And it will give us more culture, and more culture is always good. Do we have any other coastal districts? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Not right now. Oh, no, we do. This, uh, this holy site. Um... So that's plus six culture per turn and an additional two culture in every theater square district. Oh, and we only need one to become the suzerain. Great. And then the other one, I think we'll start working on Zanzibar. Wonderful. And we should now be the suzerain, whoops, of Nan Madal, and we are. We're leading in science and domination, not culture. In fact, we are behind everyone in culture. Although our culture per turn is now 57, which it just went up immensely because of that. It looks like we're getting the most culture per turn now, except I don't know about this unmet player. But compared with all the players we know, we are now getting the most culture per turn, and that means that we should be going up here pretty quickly. We're leading in everything else except religion, and we're not really playing the religion game. As long as no one else wins the religion game, uh, we should be fine. And as long as there's more than one player playing the religion game, and we don't knock out those players, we should be okay and let them fight amongst themselves. Okay. All right, we continue to fight the Chinese here. Let's move you first. Um, looks like the Chinese are south. So let's start moving south. We are locked out. I mean, we can go through Rome here. Uh, because we are friends with them. 
So we're not really locked out as long as we remain friends with Rome and have open borders with them. Looks like Rome... Well, an Inquisitor... Oh, we're Islam here. They would just get rid of it. But they they are Islam. Whatever. I don't know what they're doing. They can do whatever they want with our religion. I don't care. Um, in fact, it might be good to have a religion so we can build religious buildings. Okay, so what were we, what were we going to do with your this trade route here? Um, it might be not... Yeah, you don't have any roads going anywhere. So maybe two Technotitlan. On the other hand, we could also... Um, do a quest. Uh, Zanzibar, no, Zanzibar is not a quest. Hong Kong is. And Kabul. Right, but we're going to do uh, this one to Kabul, right? Uh, Chapultepec to Kabul, I think. That was the idea. So let's have you go to Teknatilan, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a, an important road. Although we might want to go up this way. That's it's Capotzalco. What will we get there? Nothing. Yeah, Technotilan. Could use the the stuff. Okay. Um, you. We're going to build you. You have three builds left. One's going to be right here. And you are going to down to Kabul. Yay. And that gives us an envoy there, which just short, you know, make sure that we don't lose that um you know you're gonna go up here so you can take it oh and you can still uh fire i don't think we're gonna well yeah okay fire it might get rid of them and kabul might take it can i just say go that way would you move there if you won and kill them please move no it doesn't work oh well okay now we're looking for a spot to settle and we'll have the you know what? Come this way. Ah. All right, come down over here. Nothing looks that great over here. Uh, yes. Yes, we did. We got an envoy for Kabul. Oh, and Namadal is now on our side and declared war in China. That's very nice to see. Uh, we're doing fine here in our research, etc. Yeah, they're going to convert us all to Islam. We could still put a city down here. Oh, whoa. Did you see that? They just put a barbarian outpost right there. Do we have any military units here? We have one. We could upgrade him to a crossbowman. Maybe we should. But we have two archers that are kind of nearby. Let's get you over there. I think both of these archers together should do just fine. Okay, first let's fire with this catapult. Oh, we can't. Um, hmm. Do we move this catapult down here? It's not going to really help anything, will it? We could move the swordsman out of the way and move the catapult down there. Let's do that. We won't be able to attack or anything. But that's okay. We have good defense in the mountains and the hills. Okay. Yes. Build that lumber mill for the production. You guys... Uh, so this river ends here. There are really no great spots. And we can get, keep looking around here. Keep going east. But this is pretty disappointing. Yeah, you go, you go this way too. Um, are we building another settler somewhere? I thought we were. We might just want to buy one to put here. I think. Um, seven forty-five gold. That's not great. What about uh, building one? Yeah, that's a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know when we're going to get a settler here. We got rid of our settler policy. I thought we were making two, but I guess we just made one. Okay, um, next turn. Do it. 
Mm-hmm. Man, Rome is big. Rome is very, like, centralized, and we are very kind of spread out. Although we are trying to amend that here a little bit. Like, look, these are connecting now. More will connect. Everything should be connectable for the most part. Yeah, just kill them. It looks like they did take the outpost, I think, which is too bad. Um, okay. Mm, nope. Yeah, bad luck. I guess so. Oh, hello! You must be the one with the cultural uh, dominance. Bapu. Well, nice to meet you, Gandhi. I don't know where you are. Oh, oh, we found you over here. No, that's Hong Kong. Where did we find you? You must have found us somewhere. Not over here. Where is Gandhi? Gandhi must have explored somewhere near us. I don't know where. Oh well. Uh, choose production. Uh, Simpuala. What are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? I think I would like a builder for you now. To do these resources. Alright, you need these orders. Okay, now you can bombard there. Ah, this Americans are in the way. It's really annoying. Oh, but you can no, you can't do anything. These guys can't go anywhere. Stupid Americans. Hold on. Stop. Now we should be able to move. Oh no. We don't have the move. That's weird. I thought we could attack, then move. That's okay. Oh, it says we met Gandhi over here? I guess they must have come by and then run away again. Daros needs housing, which we know. We're going to work on an aqueduct soon. Do we want to build buy those tiles now? Let's, let's maybe do it. So aqueduct will go here. And for Etz... Cap Boat Salco, your aqueduct will go here. Okay. And that way we bought those tiles while we still have that Civic. Are there any other tiles we want to buy? Yeah, you know what? Maybe that one. 144. That's a lot, but I want to build a holy site here, I think. Pretty soon. Okay, so you have two builds left, and one of them is going to be for right here. Look at all these Inquisitors. Inquisitors get rid of other religions in a city, but we don't have other religions in our cities. I don't know what its deal is. Okay, so you're going to put that there, and then maybe you'll go and, like, maybe help, uh, what's it called, uh, Chepultepec. All right, you, Archer, I guess... Go down to Sochi Calco. Okay, we're gonna keep exploring over here. Exploring, exploring. You guys come up here. Wow, a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. Okay, next turn, I guess. All these religious units. I don't think anyone's been fully converted yet. Um, religion. Oh, they have. Oh, we still have an unmet player? Huh. Okay. Eth yeah, Eastern Orthodoxy. Are we the only um, civilization that doesn't have its own religion? That's too bad. Okay. All right, so they are gone. Uh, by they, I mean the Chinese. And this catapult, I think you gotta stay there. All right, you 
come? Well, let's move the swordsman first. Really love to build another city, but no place really makes sense yet. Um, yeah, we're going to move you down here. Yeah, you could fire from right there, couldn't you? And you guys come right there. Okay. Melanalco needs housing. Really? Well, you're going to build a district soon of some sort. And... Tlacopan needs housing. And you're going to build a district as well. And plus, you're building... Um, you're going to be building, like, stuff in the encampment, which will probably give you housing as well. What kind of district are we going to do here? You're not really near any other of our towns. Let's see. You don't really have a lot of amenities. We could do entertainment. Hmm. Oh, Tlacopan. Oh! Okay, yeah, bring it, sure. Oh, now we can attack with this archer. Oh, great! Astronomy is done. Inspiration Astronomy towards colonialism. Is much more fun when you're not an astronomer. Great. Okay. Um, what do we want now? Hmm. I think we definitely need more industrial districts. We can get uh, the boost to industrialization, too. Banking. Yeah, let's try a little banking. And now we can switch humanism to something else. Although we don't have... A... Oh, you know what? We want guilds. Oh, we can't... Can we get civil service? Oh, we can. Right, because we just got... Yeah, we can get civil service. Great. That's what we want. Wonderful. What does that give? What is that? Oh, an alliance. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Plus one amenities. Oh, for cities with a garrisoned unit. That might be nice, too. Technotitlan, you just built a... What did you just build? You can't build anything except walls, and we don't really need that. Patala Palace. I feel like you're... You have an industrial zone. You probably just built a workshop. All right, let me, let's get you another builder. And we can maybe make a holy site, maybe. Just production, Tlacopan. So you just built a builder. Now we're going to pick what? Terracotta army. Huh. All current units gain a promotion. All archaeologists may enter far lands without open borders. That might be nice later. We don't know if anyone else is working on it, but... I don't know how many people have encampments with barracks. So we could work on that. Uh, but I think because we just built a builder, we also want to place a zone. question is, which zone? Uh, what kind of commercial bonuses do we get? Everything's plus two, which isn't bad. That said, I think I might want industrial. We have a few plus two places here, including right here. Although, right. All right, so if we put them right here... We already have a mine here, and one here. We will get one here, and we can put one here too, and that'll be plus four. Which sounds pretty nice to me. In fact, we might want the builder, we might buy those tiles. Hmm. We could have done one here. No, that's what we want. That's definitely what we want. All right, so you move up here. And... All right, Nadaros first. Um, oh, actually. Flacopan, stop working on that for the moment. And maybe we will do a terracotta army. Mainly for the archaeologists later in the game. Huh. We can always get rid of it. I don't know what else we're going to build. Cool. Okay. Nidaros. You could do a temple. Pyramids. No one's built the pyramids. 
Oh, wow. All builders can have one extra improvement. That would be awesome for us, wouldn't it? And if no one else has desert, I want it. I don't know if anyone else is building it, but if no one else can build it, because they don't have the desert tiles, I think we might see that. I don't know if Rome is building it. There's a lot of desert here, so Rome could be. But I want to take the chance, because that would be a perfect wonder for us. Um, and I think we, would, we might want uh, more trade routes coming from Nadaros to get more production. Fortunately, we did just improve production with the... Um, what's it? Lumber mill. We are taking a risk going for wonders, especially early game wonders. But I'm hoping it'll be worth it. All right, you come down here. Ooh, die. You... I guess come over here. Um, we, we want you up there, so just wait a turn. What are we going to do with you? Hmm. Maybe there's something over here near Hong Kong. We're going to find out. No, oh, that didn't give us any vision. Okay, you... You start moving here. You can't fire yet. You... Fire. And that should weaken them. And now they won't be able to kill us next turn. <laughs> and we got a promotion. Perfect. Okay. Next turn. Next turn. Our culture's pretty nice right now. Oh, yeah. Just one up, too. And that's a lot of that is because of our suzerain status of Nanmadal. So we definitely want to keep that and keep our culture going up. We do have a couple of theater districts. Oh, they retreated, huh? Do we take the promotion now, or do we march in here? I, th I guess we march in. And next turn, we'll... Okay. All right, swordsman. What do we got over here? Mm. Well, there's iron. We're just gonna... We're gonna find some place. It's gonna be far away from everything else, but... We're gonna, we're gonna settle somewhere. Okay, you come here. And you still don't have any turns for that. That's okay. Ah, the Americans. Maybe we do want open borders with the Americans. Although we just need to come down here and take China. Oh, China's got a great wall! I want it. Look at this. This is awesome. I want that city bad. We could build a city down here. Near Nanmodal. Although maybe that would make more sense if we took China first. I think at this point, especially seeing that Great Wall, I really want to take over China. We only have two units, but we might be able to do it. I don't think they're very advanced, and they're already being bombarded by the Americans. So we're just going to have to wait a turn here, unfortunately. We could do open borders with the Americans. I don't think it's worth it. I don't like... I don't, you know, they seem very exploratory. I don't want them coming in, colonizing near us. All right, next turn. I mean, we could just get open borders from them and not allow them if we, like, give them money, which we did with Rome. Rome can't walk through us, I don't think, but we can walk through them. Which is a pretty sweet deal. Although they're, they're going for religion, so it doesn't even matter that much for them. Okay, here we go. Great. Chinese border and some open squares. That is awesome. Uh, Zanzibar made peace with China. Uh-oh. Does that mean that they're now the suzerain of Zanzibar? And America. Oh, well, that's why. America is the suzerain. Yeah, we really need... Um, really want to be suzerain of Zanzibar. That would be wonderful. Uh, okay. All right, what are we going to build here? So we just built a builder, and we can build another district, probably in an industrial zone. So let's place that. Plus two. Plus two, huh? I guess that's good. And then let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, do it right here. 
Okay. And now it means we probably can't build an aqueduct uh, because that would have been the only spot where we could. Although it's not really, I don't even know if we could. This builder is going to go here and work on that. And now you are going to build an amphitheater. Cool. All right, you come over here. Hmm. All right, you are going to work on that district, so you're going to switch to that quickly. It's an industrial zone, right? Yeah. Work on that. And we, we're going to want to keep, I think, two builds free for that Aztec for putting mines on both the squares. And Tlacopan is going to be an industrial marvel. And what were you building? Terracotta Army. Which will help with the Terracotta Army. Okay. You. What are we going to do with you? Come this way. Okay. All right, looks like Scythia is here, which isn't great. A couple of resources here, but there's not... Well, we could put a city here. The tundra doesn't help. We put a city here. We would get the iron. We would get that copper, and we would get deer. I don't know if we want to go any further than we already are. There's no water down here, which is the issue here. Otherwise, we could put something like here, maybe? Get the rice, get the milk, get the deer, get the sheep. But no fresh water. Not even close to fresh water. One, two, three. One, two, three. I guess this tile could maybe get an aqueduct, maybe? Does that work? Doesn't it need to be next to your city? Yeah, actually, does the aqueduct even work here? No, I still can't build an aqueduct, even though I have a tile. What was I thinking? I was thinking that I could build an aqueduct next to fresh water here, but it also has to be next to your city. That was dumb. That was dumb. I can't, I can't build an aqueduct. And I'm building builders to build the aqueduct. Well, anyway, you're getting a lumber mill, and that should help you out. Um, there. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, you get promoted. Yeah, defending versus city attacks. Great. You're very powerful. All right, you go back to Nadaros, I guess. You can fortify. That's fine. Take Noctitlan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I might... Where do I want to, do I build a city here? You know, there is a river right here. So I wouldn't get, be able to get the rice if I like founded a city right here. But I would get sheep, milk, and deer. Oh, and sheep down here too. And this would be great. Well, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll build a city down here. It does make more sense. I'll go back. That's a lot of wasted turns exploring this way with a settler, but... What are you going to do? Okay, I think uh, this turn will have to be the last one this episode. Uh -huh. The taxpayer. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Okay. All right, what do we got here? You know what? So do we want to reduce the cost of buying, buying tiles at this point? I think we can do that. I think we can. And let's maybe do... Um, let's see. Mm, what, what was the way we are going to get? Maybe an adjacency bonus. Uh, plus one culture for each specialty district. That might be nice. Housing might be nice also. 
what was the one we were going to get? You know what? Let's get the meritocracy that we just got. Let's try that. We want more culture. Let's do it. So right now we have uh, 61.5. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. It gave us like 11. Okay. Choose civic. Um, so we just got something. We want guilds. Um, are we going to build two markets in time? I think we only have one commercial hub. But we do want guilds, because that also gives us a boost to something. So, you know what? Let's at least start it. Uh, choose production. Melanelco. What are we going to do with you? I guess... I'll... All right. Uh, so you can build... You're going to build a district of some sort. And I think another commercial hub. It would definitely be perfect for you. we got a plus three tile right here. You're going to move here. And you're going to work on that. And in the meantime, Alanalco, you are going to build a water mill. Okay, here we go. You cannot fire, which is too bad. You don't have the range. But you could attack. A major defeat. They really increased their units here, huh? That's not good for us. You stay there. And you stay there. I mean, we... Yeah, I'm a little worried about attacking. I mean, they would lose a bunch of health, but they get support bonus. We get plus six for luxury attack bonus. That's pretty awesome. But they just have more base strength. We need to upgrade these guys. But we can't. Okay. Um, what are we having you do? Oh, right. You are going to work on the industrial zone. There you go. And now you continue the Terracotta Army. You over here. Right, you just built that. And I think with your last build, we might have you help out Chapultepec. Right, now I can't believe we bought those tiles. That was really dumb. Okay, you come back to Simpoala. And maybe we get another city over there. Maybe. But there's a lot of uh, luxury resources that would be really nice. Uh, we might want to buy one, actually. Maybe we should have changed our civic to the builder, to the settler one again. Right. You change to the juggling here, industrial zone. Build that. Change it back. Amphitheater. Unit needs orders. Uh, trader. Right. Okay. Um, so we have roads going up this way. Rome, huh? Look at that. You know what? Let's build one to Rome. We get additional faith and culture and science, money and, um, what's it? Oh, Jakarta. No, no, let's do Rome. That's, that looks pretty good to me. And it's our first international trade route, I think. All right, you guys are going to start moving back. Uh, can I move through here? No, I can't. All right, so move this way. Uh, the swordsman here, though. Move over here. Okay. Yep, that's great. And Suchicalco still has no housing. That's okay. I don't think the amphitheater gives housing either. But I really wish it told you what it did by hovering over it. We're not building any aqueducts, I just realized. And we have something that we're waiting for aqueducts for. Huh. We had plans to build them, and now we're not going to. Because it doesn't make any sense. We could do... Wait, can we build an aqueduct there? Can we build any aqueducts here? No, nope. no tiles for aqueducts. All right, I guess no. What about you? Can you build an aqueduct anywhere? Nope. No locations. We're not going to build an aqueduct. I just realized. So I'm going to preemptively... Um, where's the thing we need an aqueduct? Military engineering? You know what? Just get it. We're never going to get that aqueduct. Okay. And that's going to be the episode. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. 
I enjoyed playing with you today, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.